what is up guys welcome to my channel it's the real fifth beetle um this is going to be a bit of a rambling video um i wasn't really sure what to do with this channel because i'm not really a sort of youtuber i don't really do um edits i'm not really into sort of like you know cutscenes i'm not i'm not i'm a bit of a boomer so i was kind of thinking what do i do with this channel and I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do sort of um, just random sort of thoughts. So if I, when I watch something, I'm just going to do, do just like a random vlog. And I've got a couple of um, videos to come up regarding The Mandalorian, um, Birds of Prey, Slash, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman 84. Going to do a video on that. But... I really, really want to just do reactions and like random thoughts on like what you guys want me to react to. Not react. That's a, I don't like that word. React. You know, just basically, you know, when when I upload a video, you know, just in the comments below, just you know, what do you want me to watch? Not TV show because that just it, it's too time consuming. But movie, yeah, just just give me a movie to watch. And I'll do me best. I'm assuming it's available. I will watch it, and I will try and get a, a reaction out within seven days. Um, and yeah, basically, because um, Darren Burrows, one of my subscribers, he react he recommended that I watch a movie called and I'm gonna forget this now. I'm gonna have to double check. Your vice is a locked room, and only I have the key. It's a Jalo film. Uh, let me go back a minute. So basically, recommend the film in the comments and assume it's not some like a romantic comedy or something ridiculous. I will do my best to watch the film. Better if it's a horror or a thriller or a, you know, action film. And I'll try and get like a sort of reaction out within seven days. It won't be a review. This, this what I'm doing, gonna do now is not a review of this film Darren's recommended it's it's more of it's just like a sort of a, a reaction um you know a, a, an opinion piece because you know reviews they tend to require a sort of you know it's if you've got to complete you unless you're amazing at making videos you have to cut it every five seconds and you've got to put like images in i'm not about that i'm just i'm a, i'm i'm clueless when it comes to that sort of thing all I'm about is just like watching a f film and then just putting it, just putting an opinion out, but not a review. <laughs> I'm just gonna make that clear. So yeah, so basically, you know, anyone watching this, you know, you, if you have got something I, you want me to watch, movie wise, I will watch it, and, and you know, put it in the comments below, and I will, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to get an opinion out. A, review, a video opinion not just like a comment I'll, I'll, I'll put a video out and like Darren last week he did recommend that I watch um, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key which is a nightmare to remember but in my last video I did do a, um, a kind of retrospective on Argento's first three films the Animal Trilogy and Darren recommended that I watch some Sergio Martino films and he did recommend Torso and I wish I'd watched Torso because I wouldn't have to keep on saying this extremely long name to a film <laughs> to review but I'm glad he recommended this film because this is, this is a good film it's it's kind of like part yellow part so this is partly based on a short story by um the name escapes me. It, it it's based on a story called the Black Cat, Edgar Allan Poe. So it, it's based on a it's partly based on a short story by Edgar Allan Poe called the Black Cat, and this is kind of like a part yellow, part Edgar Allan Poe short story. So this does follow a lot of the traits of a yellow film in terms of we have a killer who we don't know we don't see but after 45 minutes 
that is kind of like you know undone because we the killers are revealed and I was kind of like wow I, I wasn't expecting that so you know halfway through the film it turns out that this isn't really a proper giallo because we the killer is revealed and then we move on and there are shallow elements because the kill scenes leading up to this point are very shallow-esque. It's, you know, you see a raised hand with, you know, a, a blade and an exposed throat and a woman screaming face. And that is something that is very reminiscent of the Argento Animal Trilogy, which I've watched um, a week previously, where it... You know, going into shallow films, not know know very little about them. That is something that I've noticed. It's it's very much the kill scenes in these early films are very much based on like you know just you see a sharp weapon, you see a woman screaming her face and an exposed throat. That does seem to be a common trait. So we get this. You know, up until forty-five minutes in, you know, it we see a few. There are a few murders, but then it changes into something completely different. Because the thing about this movie is, there are no um, antagonists. Sorry, no, there are no pro protagonists. Everybody in this movie is pretty much a horrible character, apart from maybe one guy who's kind of like you know. You know, if you've seen the film, you know who I'm talking about. He, he's he's a decent guy, but the three main characters in this movie—they are horrible, horrible people. And it's only when you get through to the end of the film you realise why this is the case. Um, because in this sort of movie with this sort of um, Edgar Allan Poe background to to the plot there isn't really a room for a good guy um, I, don't go into, I don't really want to go too much into the plot because I don't really want to spoil it but going into comparisons with this and Archer because the, the, the main point of this video really was it wasn't it wasn't never wanted to be a review you know, this was always going to be like a sort of you know just a, you know thought on the film and I wanted to compare it to Argento's first three films, like in my last video. My last video was about the Animal Trilogy. And this was really supposed to be about, you know, the comparisons between this film and Argento's first three films. Because this came out in 72. Um, Argento's Trilogy came out between 1771. And I was curious to see you know the comparison between you know the two directors now uh, Martin Martini sorry Sergio Martin he doubles down on the sex you know there is violence it is quite tame by today's standards it's, it's quite tame by 70s standards to be fair you know if you watch anything like a couple of years later this is quite tame but the sex it, it's like he really does go over the top with the sex scenes i mean you know it's it's practically every 20 minutes you know you're seeing you know lesbian sex scenes you're seeing um, rape you know exposed best you know he really <laughs> he doubled down on it i'm not sure whether it's just his style or whether the you know between 71 and 72 it just became a lot more relaxed because you know back in those in the early 70s you know, it was quite sort of, there was a point where I think it became a lot less strict. Certainly in America and the UK, I don't know about in Italy, but yeah, maybe that was the case. But um, another thing I noticed in terms of like um, Argento and the Martini film is this has a rural setting. So this is kind of like, Anyone, I mean, I mean, I know you guys in the US get UK TV, and it, you know, anybody who watches this who's from UK, it, it kind of feels like a more like of an X rated Midsummer Murders. And I don't mean that as a disservice to the film, it's just that you've got this very rural setting, you know, farmland, 
and it, it, it feels quite innocent. The, the kills feel quite, because of the setting, it's, with Argento's animal trilogy, it's very you know, urban. I think the films are set in Rome. So it, it's, 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 it's a totally different feel. And this does kind of feel like, um, you know, it's got a very innocent feel to it, despite the sort of like, you know, quite violent deaths. But um, yeah, this, this does feel kind of like a dysfunctional family drama in the second half. But, you know, this is certainly a film that, you know, does you know it does um, deserve a watch and a rewatch? I mean, if you if you are a Yellow fan, you need to see the film. It is a really, really sort of um, I don't have it. Yeah, it, I'm just I'm rambling now. But yeah, it does need to be watched. It certainly does, and it's. Ignore the black cat story, because 